Hi folks, welcome back to the deep dive. It's Andy here and we're looking at progression five. Um, I've got two different instruments here and I'll explain why in just a second. Let's have a quick look at progression five on this um, um, Beard Zavadzimu and then I'll explain why I've got this one here. I'm talking a little bit about the history of the, the song structure, the evolution of it. Nice one. So progression five is just, um, yeah, we're transposing the same root notes it's harder to, for me to show you up here. Um, let me show you starting around here. We've got five, seven, and two. Five, seven, and three. Five, one, and three. Six, one, and three. I couldn't show you up here because there's a sort of the, the, the three that we want would be missing off the end of the instrument. Uh, we'd start up like five, seven, two. Five, seven, yeah, couldn't get to the three. So here we go from here. Five, seven, two, five, seven, three, five, one, three, six, one, three. Um, so forward talks about Nemo Musasi Yepasi. It's the name of a of variation. Um, some people use that same name for a different variation. They used it to talk about this one. Um, sorry. And so on. Um, we looked at that in video eight. I think it was the two note pattern video. Yeah. Um, and Yepasi means from the ground or from the earth. And there's a movement here where we come from low to high. Low high, low high. Um, so, yeah, he he says that's why people call that variation Yepasi, but he uses Nemo Musasi Yepasi to talk about uh, another song structure. So this this one that starts on our our chord fives, um, whereas this one here is our um, fours. Four six one four six two four seven two five seven two. The Yepasi that the when he uses Yepasi, he's talking about the one that starts on five, um, and he's saying it's because it's an older variation, and the Yepasi refers to from the earth. The earth is where the ancestors are buried. So it's from the ancestors. It's an older, older variation or older, older song structure. And to help us understand that, I want to show you on this instrument. Um, if we have a look at the the names of the notes, if we give them numbers, one, three, five, six, and seven, one. Three, oh sorry, two, three, fives, sixes, sevens, and a one. We're missing a note four on this instrument. Um, and interestingly, if you look at all of our song progressions, they all miss out a chord, all of them. Um, progression one, it misses chord seven. Progression two, misses chord one. Progression three, misses chord two. Progression four misses chord three. The chord that it misses is always sort of one note lower or one chord lower than the, the first chord in the sequence. Um, so this instrument here is missing a note four. Um, I talk about the, the relationship between the layout of the keys on this instrument and the Mbira Zafatimu on, I think it's video 15, the system of Mbira. Um, that should be fascinating for you, that video, if you haven't um, heard about those ideas yet. But this new idea for you, the chord missing from each of our song structures. If this instrument's missing a note four, then I'm thinking, uh, uh, and we assume that one of our master progressions, one of our seven progressions got played on it. I think that there's a strong argument there for it being progression five. Because four would be the root. I'm going here like as if there would be a, a note four in here somewhere. Um, yeah, this instrument misses note four. So was it that progression five 
got played on it most often because there was no note four available so expressing chord fours is more difficult um to express a chord four you could probably play like a the the notes in chord four are four of six and one four six and ones if you haven't got a four then you can express it using notes sixes and, and ones so we could have a six and a one or here um Imagine that we were going to play progression one, and I'll just show you what happens when we get to chord four. Um, so let's go for. Do, 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 do. Let me play using these notes and these notes. So we've got one, two, three, five, six, seven. So we've got most of our notes available there, uh, apart from note four. Yeah. So progression one, our first chord is one. Um, so we'll play a note one, and let's play a five, it's fifth. Our next chord is three, so we've got three, and it's fifth is seven. Next chord is five, and it's fifth is two. So our first part becomes... Part two, we've got one, three, and six. For chord six, we'll play a six and a three, it's fifth. Yep. So our first two parts become and then part three we've got one sorry chord one, chord four and chord six. So if I chord one we'll play this one. If I chord four, we're gonna play a six and a one like we looked at a second ago. And then chord six. And our last part, we've got chords two, four, and six. So for chord two, we're going to play two, it's root, and six, it's fifth. So that six is getting repeated quite a lot in the second half of the song. Yep, two, four, six. Cool, the whole song. Five, uh, one, three, five. So we kind of get stuck on that note for a lot of the second half. So chord uh, progression one, sorry, is possible. Um, we have to make that little adaption there for chord uh, four. We have to play ones and sixes for progression Five, however, um, let's have a look and see what happens. Where am I going to play this? Mm -mm. Let's go these notes here. Five, six, seven, one, two, and three. If we go for those ones. Five. Uh, so for chord five, I'm going to play note fives until it's fifth. Then for chord seven, I'm going to play seven, and I can't play its fifth, which would have been note fours. I'm going to go for its third, which is note twos. Uh, and then our next chord, chord two, two its root, and six its fifth. So our first three chords become... So we're lingering on that two a lot now. Oops, sorry, the camera slipped. Five, seven, and three. For three, we play three, it's root, and seven, it's fifth. First two parts. Then five, one, and three for part three. Five, we've already got. For one, I'm going to play one, the root, and five, the fifth. And we've already got our three. And if last part, six, one, and three. Six, the root, three, the fifth. So the whole song becomes. Oops, sorry. And what we end up with there is something really similar to our three note pattern being played here. Or 
of that is our three note pattern sorry and then over here something really close to our two note pattern if we remove this note and just play these ones we'd end up with a two note pattern let me just show you the three note pattern against two note pattern um, we've only added in this note here our note one join our chord ones Three note pattern, two note pattern. These are those interesting ones that if you wrote them out, you could flip them 108 degrees, they'd be the same backwards. Uh, they've got that sort of rotational symmetry. So let me show you again without the note one. Uh, where am I? And then with the note one, And now instead of these, or as well as these notes, we could double them up up here. So fives, sevens, and sixes. So I'm building this out of the three note pattern and two note pattern. I'll pop that extra note in in a second. in there and three has been played here we've got another one and a three down here which we could use as well Alright then, a bit of noodling around there. Let's grab this other instrument and show you then um, our progression five on here. I'm just checking it's the right one that I've grabbed. Cool, yep. So Moving in for chord five, uh, I'm going to use our big note circles and a very similar song structure to the uh, Nomi Musashi Yopasi, uh, sorry, Nomi Musashi Yamatare, that a lot of people call Nomi Musashi Yopasi. So one, two, three, with the little groups of three notes, uh, using our note circles, chord five then. Let's start with chord five, uh, then seven, then two, five, seven, then three, five, one, three, six, one, and three. Uh, against these little do da da do da da do da da do da da. Let's have a look.
forwards argument is that this song uh, structure progression five on these and bearers is an older song structure from the ancestors and that's where the name 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 of Sassi Yepasi comes from and when we look at the layout of the keys on this instrument we see that there's no note fours so progression five seems to be an obvious choice the second most obvious choice to make would be progression one because that emits chord sevens and note four is the fifth of seven um, I think the argument for it being progression five where chord four is omitted and note four is the root of that chord is a is a stronger argument but um, for some people that say actually fifths and roots they're equally preferred in this music it could equally be progression five or progression one um, so there we go nice one i hope you're enjoying these videos thanks very much everybody cheers